Alright, now that's solved. Go over here to the guillotine. <laughs> Let's not stick our hand in there. Speaking of sticking your hand in there. <laughs> uh, oh, it's Eileen. And, oh, yeah. Good idea. Stick your hand in there when the gate's shutting. And it's really so, your hand didn't get bitten off by a dog, got ripped off by a, a gate. Okay. I don't know, based on that video of her hand before it... Poor drainage could still produce a flower. This is pretty easy, just a still life painting of a flower. Uh, the three, room, three doors. Pretty sure the one on the left is the one we want, though. Yep. So she hand got ripped off by a gate. I don't know. I think a gate would leave a little cleaner of a, a you know, tear than a dog, but... Like that dead raccoon your father found in the basement. Hmm, why is he psychic? <laughs> Say what? He must know a lot about us. Or Carl, rather. You trying to tell me something? It's not your book, it's stuff, dude. Alright, well, back stuff we got. Sounds like... It got higher from wine. Hmm. Something got higher. It is said to have ro risen from rose. Um, so I'm looking for a rose. I'm gonna go to Martine Burton's bedroom. If you recognize this music, we played the seventh guest. Oh, of course, we've got a puzzle. Again, this is one of these puzzles. It's uh, incredibly easy if you know it to find a pair of 15 letter words um, and as you can see it kind of these paths kind of restrict the letters we can choose um, I don't know if these words are supposed to be used to describe Martine Burden I think that they would pretty well unintentionally is the first one it's gonna reset and give us some new old letters now apparently I wasn't supposed to um, Pick one of these letters, because look, I can't get to the T. The other T, the T we need is completely blocked off. Probably should have taken that one first, and so I've got to reset it. If you only had a brain. So obviously, the there we go. I'll, I'll take it then. Um, the solution is unintentionally straightforward. So if you need to know, know some easy 15-letter words for any thing in your life in the future. Unintentionally and straightforward are two pretty easy ones. And that's it. Curse you! Prime Cam is the easiest puzzle in the game right there. Alright, what we got over there? It's a rose. Robin? Oh, look, it's the ghost of Martine Burden. Whoa. Oh, you like it? Yeah. I hope that you would. I wore it just for you. Thanks. So, do you think you have a role for me in your new play? What the heck is she talking about? Am I right for the part? <laughs> Jeez, I, I don't know. I... Just tell her no, dude. I'd be very grateful. Uh-uh. Very grateful. Uh, ghost <laughs> mouth. <laughs> What's the matter? You don't like yeah. me? You don't want me in your play? <laughs> Listen, it's not that I don't want you in my play. I know I'm right for the part. I could give you more. No thanks, that's okay. Uh, you know, can you just tell me where uh, Robin is? Who's Robin? <laughs> what do you want with her? What's wrong with me? We don't want you in our play. Hey. Please. Take old movie. Me. Please take me with you before, before it's too late. Too late for what? Oh, hey, look, you're gone. All right, Good. see you never. Let's look at our next hint. What? C 
kind of jewelry is angrier? All right, let's just do another easy anagram. Angrier earring. Not rocket science. So we're going to go to Julia Hines' room. She's got like a dresser with uh, jewelry. So Jack to mattress too. These people. You notice I think we've only seen one mattress so far. There's the dresser, but we can't really access it. Uh, we got some oh, jewelry box, but of course it's a puzzle. This puzzle is supposed to be pretty hard. Um, even without a solution, I'm just going to try to brute force it. Basically, you just have to rearrange these um, gems or whatever so that the the colors touch all the way around. You see, we got the yellow and then the orange, and we're going to get the teal here. The orange already touched, so we're going to adjust that so we've got the teal again. But oh, look, it's not going to work because um, there was already teal on that side on the top. So what we can do is we can rotate them out. And uh, I'm just basically going to do that and just, you know, start again. Just keep doing this until we solve it. Which, in theory, it could take a while. Um, in reality, it's really not that difficult. Switch those two. Well, it's because the orange there, got the red there, green, and we don't have purple, so that's not going to work either. So I'll switch those two. First, it's probably going to line up the red. I can touch green. And look at that, this one's actually going to work out. <laughs> I told you this one wasn't hard. You got lucky that time! Now you're just an idiot for giving us easy puzzles. Alright, um... Alright, look, we got one right there. Earring. Now, if we only had a matching ear... Oh, uh, look at that. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, well played, Henry. Of course, we're not going to get our next hint until he stops laughing. There we go. Might hear a well-mannered Cockney with a 60s hairstyle. <laughs> Alright. Unless he said it in a British accent. Well-mannered. You're well-mannered. You're, you're going to behave. Or, as it sounds like a British accent, beehive. 60s hairstyle. Think Marge Simpson. Also a beehive. Really haven't seen any beehives yet. Um, unfortunately, there's a new room that's open to us. The room at the top, which was the last room from Seventh Guest. And of course, what's in the corner? A beehive. This room got destroyed, it looks like. Alright, another puzzle we're playing against Stoff. Um, again, if you played Seventh Guess, you're probably thinking, oh great, another microscope puzzle. Basically, you, you're the honey, he's the blood. You've got to um, see if you move, or anytime you move next to him, it'll take over his ones. So, if you move it by one space, it replicates. If you move it, Spaces it jumps. I'm looking, I, I can already tell this is not going to be good. I'll, I'll just solve this right now. If I don't beat him the first try, I'm just going to have the game solve it for me because I, I, I really don't like these ones. I, you know, the first game, the art gallery was kind of annoying. The chapel, the griffins, that at least, you know, that was doable. It was, that was actually easy. This one sucks. I hate this one. I hated the microscope puzzle in the seventh guess. I had such a hard time with it. Especially, I think, so I know in 7th guess, the uh, difficulty uh, was affected by the speed of your processor, which obviously that's working against me now. Um, yeah, this, yep, the two puzzles after this new game we play against stuff really aren't that bad. This one I just hate. I just, I've just never been good at it. I'm trying to figure out here what it's supposed to do. You just, I don't know. Trying to play chess against Bobby Fisher or something, it's just like it's a game he's really good at. Also play a lot, which I again I hate this puzzle, so forgive me if 
I don't. I don't know. You think blood would always just have to be in the drink honey. See, like, he jumps in there, he can take four of my goals. Bastard. So I'm gonna have to jump in, but I'm only gonna get three. Look, that's gonna open him up if he jumps in there. Take five. Of course he's gonna. Why wouldn't he? Alright. I don't want to say that's the nail in the coffin, as we learned from the, uh, the mouse game. Well, then again, I hated the mouse game, but I did pretty well at that. I was able to beat that. Probably, I think, for the first time ever, so. I know I have beaten this one in the past. It's just a big, just a pain. You know what? At least the mouse game, like, it probably would take as long as it takes to play around in this game, but it involved, like, a lot. You had to do a lot less thinking. You know, you would, like, there were probably a total of like 10 moves that would be played before that, that one would be done. This one, you're looking at dozens upon dozens upon dozens of moves just to finish. It's hard to tell, too. Red's a darker color, so it always looks like he's probably beating me when maybe he isn't. It looks like he's beating me now. Do that. Doesn't look like I'm beating him. Okay, I got four in there, so that's actually that's pretty good. He'll be able to move one over and take three, so it's kind of... Yeah. Take out that guy. I've still got... He's got those two bloods, and I've got the one honey over. I've basically just been out of the game so far. Do I come into play? No, I probably not. He'll probably jump in. I feel like he's totally got me like, where I have to jump in now. Really good at containing. That that is the key to this game is containment. Um, just want to try to block him in as much as possible. Make him have to jump to get out. And when they do that, you just take over where they jump from. See, I'm gonna just jump over there and take his buddy. All right. Oh, he's just gonna do that. That was the thing. In this game, at least, it's it's you know hexagons. So there's only six sides to each uh, honeycomb. Whereas in Seventh Guest, you were playing, um, it was square. So you could, you know, there were eight sides touching each one because you know you'd have your you'd have your sides and your corners of the square. So it was essentially an octagon as far as possible moves. All right, so we're about fifty-fifty right now. The thing is, he's in a much better position because, look, he's got, look out, like on the left there, all my pieces are basically boxed in. He's got, you know, yeah, if I want to get out, I've got to do that. And then he just, he just fills in with one of his, easily and takes three. Um, yeah, it's one of those things where if you can get the lead early and just hold on to it, play defensive, you've got a good shot, but obviously I fell behind. aggressive too. I don't think I'm gonna win this one. I mean, I'll try. I don't know why he just did that. I can just jump in there and take four of his. He'd be able to, he can move in where I just came from and he'll only be able to get two. It seems like a very good move for him, but then again look, he's still got outside I'm gonna jump in there. But I'm not doing a whole lot to help myself there. Just does that. I'll be able to jump in and take five, but if you'll notice, look, he's got that whole area contained though. I mean that a move like that would be good, maybe we'll win it, you know, ten moves from now. But at this juncture it's just not gonna to box me in. Do whatever I can to try to get to the outside, but I'm just gonna go in there and shuts me down again. It's hard to play this game from behind. I 
at this point, I'm basically giving up. You know, there's really at this point, there's it's not like you know you can just make a big move. Sometimes you can, but not not with the configuration right now. Not I don't want to count the pieces, see how many he's got and how many I've got, but that's... See, why is he even doing that? He's just being a jerk now. I can jump up there and take four of them, but, you know, why? Uh, I can jump in there and take four, but again... Uh, I think at this point that's going to be my only move. Which, again, that's not a good move either. I probably should have gone to the outside, or at least there's room to look out there, but... Whatever. I'll still do that. I'll have to do on this move. Why? Just end it quickly. See so, you now, he's completely cut off my outside. I want to make a move, which I have to use it's not over, I have to jump. Yeah, I get four spaces, but I don't think that's going to be enough. He moves in just like that and takes three. Uh, I'm take one, he'll move in to take two. That's the game. I'm sure he's going to win. This. Looks like he's got a lot more blood than honey on there. I've seen yeah. <laughs> Samantha, solve it. Come on now, honey. Wow. wow. Be a good sport. Wow. You're playing against stuff. No kidding. Try to end with more honey in the comb than blood. She's gonna tell us all the rules that we already know. Great. Globules divide in two when moved to an adjacent cell, but jumping the maximum of two cell moves the globule. Honey absorbs adjacent cells filled with blood, and vice versa. Uh, yes. Do you want me to make the next move? I want to solve it. Do you want me to solve it for you? Okay, and with that, we're going to watch the long video now.